Black said, this is a joint work with Professor Rockner and Rongchen. Uh, are we um, consider in this talk, we consider this reflection problem. We consider this stochastic differential inclusion in the Hill of space. Uh, here A is a positively definite self-joint operator, and gamma is a closed convex set, and M gamma is defined as here is a normal hole to gamma and X, and WT is a cylindric winner process in, in H. And we see that if um, without this term, this is the OU process in infant in the Hilbert space. But here, uh, this term represents the reflection term. We can see that uh, if uh, if gamma is uh, uh, if gamma is a uh, um, regular convex set, then this uh, M gamma at this point X is uh, equals like this. This is this M gamma is uh, external normal um, to gamma at X. And this um, n gamma x um, equals uh, And for if x is uh, in the uh, at the bound in the boundary of gamma, this n gamma is uh, can be written like here. Uh, and if gamma is uh, uh, at some point, if gamma is uh, uh, maybe at some point it's singular point, then we see that. This n gamma is a is a normal core to gamma at x, and this n gamma can be a um, is a sub sub differential of this e gamma, and this e gamma is a function if x is. A And this e gamma is uh, mm, the um, potential function, and uh, it uh, mm, put, uh, when the process hits the boundary, and it pushes the process um, and to stay always in this gamma. This is uh, so. This term represents the reflection term here, and this problem has a. Uh, uh, first, um, in infinite dimensions, has first been considered by Nivalat and Padu. And they consider for gamma is a uh, um, special class of convex set, and they get the uh, existence and uniqueness of this problem. And uh, recently, the Prato and Babu also consider this problem. For gamma is a regular convex set, and they get the precise information of the corresponding chromographic operators, but they cannot give the existence of the strong probabilistic strong solutions of this problem. And the main result of this talk is we get the we give the strong probabilistic strong solutions of this problem. And to solve this problem, uh, we introduce the B functions in infinite dimensions. First, we recall a uh, BU functions in finite dimensions. A function U is called a BU function on Rn if and only if one of the following is satisfied. First, it says that there exists real finite mayors mu j such that this equation satisfied. This phi is a taste taste function, so this means that the weak derivatives of U exist as a finite mayors mu j. So this is, uh, we see that uh, the um, B functions is a is an extension of functions in sublevel space. Functions in sublevel space means the weak derivatives exist, 
as uh, uh, functions, but here it exists as a finite mail. And the second says that this VU defining as here is finite. Here this means a divergence of phi, and phi is a test vector field. And this one defining as here is finite. And the, um, the equivalence of these two definitions can be proved by using a uh, race mark of representation theorem. And now we want to um, extend this view functions in infinite dimensions. Uh, first, we see that uh, we, here we use this integration by parts with respect to the Lebesgue mayor. But we know that in infinite dimensions, there is no Lebesgue mayor. So we take Gaussian mayor as our reference mayor. Um, below, mu will denote the Gaussian mayor in H with mean zero and the covariance operator Q is defined by A. And um, now first we give the definition of directional B functions here. Uh, it means um, direction with the direction L. It means um, first um, says that there exists a real finite mail mu L such that this equation satisfied. Uh, this D means the official derivatives uh, and uh, this means the official derivatives with respect to the L. And um, here we change this uh, reference mayor to the Gaussian mayor. Um, this means uh, mm, we, in the direction L, the weak derivatives of U exist as the finite mayor mu L here. And the second says that this VLU defined as here is finite. Mm. Uh, here, this v, v is uh, also the test function, and uh, this is also the Fisher derivatives here. And d mu means the Gaussian mayor here. And um, uh, the, uh, the equivalence of these uh, two definitions cannot be proved by using risk representation theorem. Since in infinite dimensions, uh, there's a lack of local contactors. However, Fukushima proves a version of uh, risk representation theorem in infinite dimensions by using deletion form theory, and we can use his result to overcome this difficulty. And the second, if we just take the intersection functions of the directional B functions as the definition of B functions in infinite dimensions, this does not give rise to ve vector valid mayors representing their total weak, weak derivatives or gradients. Uh, since here we are in infinite dimensions, we have infinite many coordinates, so we can't just take the intersection of these um, Beer functions. And uh, there are some um, definitions of Beer functions in infinite dimensions. First was given by Fukushima and later um, by Fukushima and uh, Hino extend this uh, his definition in abstract winner spaces. And uh, Ambrosio da Prada and Palara um, also give the view function, the definition of view functions in Hilbert space. Um, a function zero is called a view function in the Hilbert space if we zero define as here is finite. Here this D star means the uh, the joint operator of um, the joint operator of D uh, oh, with respect to this Gaussian mayor, um, and uh, this uh, G is a test vector field, and the um, we need the H norm of G is smaller than one, and uh, this um, now we want to extend this definition in a Galvan triple, um, here. Um, H1 um, and H and H1 star be a Galvan triple. Galvan triple means that uh, here H is a Hilbert space and H1 is a um, Banach space and um, continuous and densely embedding in H. And now we um, identify H, H, H and H star. Um, so we know that uh, H should uh, um, continuously and densely um, embedding in H1 star. 
So we call this one is uh, this embedding is a Galvan triple. Now, um, uh, we um, now we give the definition of B functions in a Galvan triple. Um, a row is um, a function is called a B functions in a Galvan triple if this V row defined as here is finite. This V row means um, defined as here. Um, this um, we just change this h um, h norm to the h one norm here. Uh, uh, this d star also the a joint operator of um, of d here. Uh, the idea to introduce this um, um, B functions um, in a Galvan triple is very natural, since we know that B function means the weak derivatives exist as a weak weak valued mayors. Um, but this vector value may or may, may not convergence in H space, but it may convergence in a larger space, H1 star. So we now take this H1 as the, um, um, the dual of this H1 star as the um, living space of the test vector, a uh, test vector <coughs> fields. And we give this definition of for B functions in the Galvan triple. And we have an example, um, it's uh, B functions in the uh, Galvan triple, but not uh, B functions in Hilbert space. Um, now this theorem gives a characterization of B functions in the uh, Galvan triple. Uh, suppose there is a B functions in the uh, Galvan triple, then there exists a positive finite mayor D row and a map sigma row from H to H1 star such that um, for any test vector fields, we have this equation. This equation means the weak derivatives of rho exist as a vector field, a vector, vector valued mayor sigma rho and d rho here. And uh, mm, conversely, if this equation is satisfied, uh, then rho is a build function in a Galvan triple. This is just an extension of the equivalence of two definitions of view functions in finite dimensions. And now we want to use this view functions to construct the reflected OU process on regular convex sets. Here we consider the situation when rho is the indicator function I gamma. And gamma is a regular convex set, can be written like here and for some regular function g here. We know that a uh, unit ball is satisfy this um, condition, and we can prove that this i gamma is a b function in Hilbert space. And now we want to construct the reflected OU process on this gamma. And we know that in infinite dimensions, sometimes to construct a strong Markov process is difficult, but the um, theory of Dirichlet form provide a useful mean to um, overcome this difficulty. Uh, so we now use the division form to construct the reflected OU process on this gamma. <coughs> we consider this division form. Here du means the facial derivatives of u, um, and we can, pr uh, and so is uh, this i gamma, and the mu is a Gaussian mayor as we defined before. And we can prove that this is a quasi-regular local Dirichlet form. Um, so by my and Rocker's book, there exists a diffusion process associated with this Dirichlet form. And this process will be called the reflected OU process here. Um, and then, mm, the, and we can also prove that uh, the sample paths of this associated reflected OU process satisfy this equation here. Um, um, here, this sigma rho is the internal normal to this gamma. And uh, this di gamma is the uh, uh, surface mayor. And this LS means the positive continuous active functionals corresponding to this uh, uh, surface mayor. Um, positive means it's an increasing process, and continuous means it's a continuous process, and um, um, since it's uh, corresponding to this surface mayor, so it means that this LS only increases when the process hits a boundary. 
So this uh, we see that this term represents the reflection term. Uh, uh, this theorem can be proved by using the Fukushima decomposition uh, in the Dirichlet form theory. Uh, this term means the martingale uh, adjective functional, and these two terms means the uh, zero energy adjective functional. The Fukushima decomposition can be seen as an extension of Ito formula, um, but it can. But we know that by Ito formula, we can't calculate this term. But by using Fukushima decomposition, we can calculate this term is um, like here. And from this theorem, uh, we know that uh, when um, this is this is a reflected OU process here. And from this theorem, we can we know that we can consider the um, problem, the reflection problem, as I mentioned before. Um, now we give the definition of this, uh, the solutions of this uh, problem 1.1. 1 .1. It means a pair of uh, process, uh, continuous and adaptive process XT and LT is called a solution of this 1.1. 1 .1. If XT is always in this gamma, this means the reflection problem. And L is an increasing process uh, satisfied that L increases only when the process hits a, hits a boundary and also satisfy this equation here. Um, um, here, uh, this, uh, mm, so this term means the refle uh, reflection term here. So from this, when gamma is a regular convex set, we know that this is just corresponding to the 1.1 1 .1 here. Um, and uh, this definition is an, uh, is an extension of such kind of problem in finite dimensions. And from this definition, we know that this sim just gives the weak solutions of this problem 1.1. 1 .1. And we can also prove the pathwise uniqueness of this problem. And then by Yamada Watanabe sim, we get that uh, this 1.1 has a, a unique strong solution here. And this is the main result of this talk. And um, we can also consider this special case. Uh, here H is L2 space, and rho is also the indicator, indicator function I K alpha. And A is minus Laplacian with delta boundary conditions on zero one. Here K alpha is um, mm, uh, is the set f in h and f bigger than minus alpha, alpha bigger than zero. This is a um, convex set but with empty interval. And we can find a suitable h1 such, um, uh, such that this i k alpha is a view function in this scale triple, but not a view function in Hilbert space. That's why we introduce the definition of view functions in a Galvan triple. And now I want to mention some extensions. Uh, we, um, before we consider the, um, the symmetric deletion form, and we can extend all these results to non-symmetric deletion forms obtained by a first order perturbation of the buff deletion form. And um, then um, by um, the same um, procedures, we can get the existence and uniqueness of this um, of this problem. Here B, is, this term is a nonlinear term, but uh, we need this uh, long symmetric deletion form is satisfy the circular condition. So this B should be bounded here. And we, um, since the definition of um, B functions, um, and the integration by parts formula with respect to the sufficient length, Many directions is sufficient is essential to the definition of Bure functions. So we can also define Bure functions in a Galvan triple, replacing the Gaussian mayor with a differentiable mayor here. And if mu is a P phi two quantum field, we get a minor solution of this stochastic quantization problem with reflection in infinite volume. Uh, here, this Px means a polynomial term. Um, but it's defined by the weak ordering here, um, and uh, that's all, thank you.